Walking that bitch on my toilet. Walking that bitch with the O's. They bit it, they bite it, they look. Everybody and welcome to another MX Bikes video. And today, guys, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Beta 19 released update here that we got today, July 3rd, 2024. It has been over a year and a half since a major release has happened in MX Bikes. I think it was November, December of 2022, a couple months after I got this game. But finally, we have Beta 19. Now, the changes that we're gonna see here by Poboso are interesting but they're not all the changes we're gonna get this is uh this is huge for the game because this allows the oem team to go through with their update which i think is an update everyone wants to see but we do have a few key changes here in mx bikes we're gonna get right into it led to it boys before we do that though i forgot to say hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe button on the way to 100k subs anyways first big change all right i'm just gonna go through some big changes i'm not gonna read the stuff no one cares about the first I guess you could call this a big change. I don't really think it's that big of a change. It should have been here since day one. Is setups, okay? So usually, when you want to bring a setup from one track to another, let's say on Thunder Valley, I made a setup that I really love, all right? Or or Tyler Jai gave me a setup. I really love this setup, and I want to take it to another track. So we go to Hangtown. Well, the setup, let's just say, isn't here yet. So what usually you would do is you'd go to Copy. You would go down to um, Thunder Valley. I would click this setup. And I'd click OK, and then I would save it in. But now what you can do is you can check common and then click the setup and click OK. I'm going to overwrite the one I already put in here. And now you have a common setup, which I do believe, and from what it's saying here, this will this setup will be distributed to every single track once you do that. Once you check that common box and then save it, it goes to every track. So you're not going to need to come back every time and click copy. It should just be in this setup list. So that's a pretty cool thing. Um, it's going to save people a lot of time, and it's just like a little quality of life update. It's not a huge deal. It's not game-changing, but it is a big change. Now, there's a couple other fixes that were made with replay cameras, um, some tire physics um, changes that were made just in the garage, so not like as far as how the bike's going to feel. The big change, though, the physics change, this is exactly what Poboso said. He says, lean reference point updated from the rear wheel to the front wheel, providing a more direct and in control feeling, especially noticeable when cornering, okay? Now, when I first read this, I thought he meant rotation point, okay? Which, when, when I thought that, I was like, okay, this is gonna be a huge change. It's gonna change the entire way the game plays, the way the whips feel, everything. Um, but that's not what this is. It is more specifically lean reference point, okay? And I'm trying to think of what that is. That is how the bike is leaning over, okay? Very simply, at least that's how I understand it. Um, it is not a rotation point. So now that I have that in mind, we're gonna test this. I'm gonna try to talk about it and we're just gonna see how it feels. I'm gonna tell you if it feels way different, if it don't feel that much different. I know a lot of people are probably already getting some placebo effects and they think this is the hugest, craziest physics change. I can't play the game anymore. This is the best thing ever, thing ever. I don't I don't think that's really what this is gonna be. Um, so far, I'm not feeling much of a difference. There is definitely a difference though, but it's mostly in just how the bike corners. Like it's, I'm not feeling much change in the air. Nothing's really different about whips. I'm feeling a lot more control in the front end. Um, so I think this is probably how the game should have been made, you know, initially. I kind of confused how it took this long for this change to happen because it wouldn't really make sense for a bike to steer with the back end or lean with the back end. That just doesn't make any sense, right? Most of the weight you're putting on when you're turning a motorcycle is the front end. Now, so far, I'm not feeling much of a difference here, okay? I do feel a difference, but it's not massive. Now, I do have a lot of hours on this game, all right? I have a few thousand hours. So, I am fairly decent at the MX Bikes game. The one thing I do think is going to help here is trying to step the back end out, which is a big deal. That's something that you can't really do in MX bikes when you look to the past. Um, and you usually have to lose a lot of grip in the tires to make it happen, which has kind of been a no-no. And we kind of saw that last year with a lot of Poboso physics and stuff. You don't want to lose too much grip in the tires that you're given because the game does some weird stuff. But maybe that weird stuff isn't going to happen as much with this change. So... I'm trying to scrub here. That all feels pretty normal. Um, I wonder if casing jumps is going to be a little bit different. I wonder if it's going to be a bit easier. Or I wonder if you can now land to the front end when you want to case a jump. And you're not going to explode or do a weird Poboso bounce. These are all things that we're going to see as time goes on. And we're just going to have to get used to this. 
I so far don't feel a huge difference. Actually, if anything, it makes me feel better at the game. Um, but again, could be a complete placebo effect. The feeling itself, I can't really describe. I feel like it's exactly what's said. Um, you're just leaning more with the front end now instead of the rear, which is how it should be. So um, I think it's a good change. But um, one of the main things, though, that is uh, that's really important about this major update finally happening, and, and some of you may be a bit, bit confused. You might be thinking, ah, oh, this beta 19 release is pretty minor, like nothing really crazy is happening. Well, what this does for the OEM team, and I know a lot of people have probably been waiting. Where the hell is the OEM, guys? It's been seven months since the last update. What's going on? They've been waiting for this update, okay? They needed this update to make some changes, and more specifically, the tires. Now, they already released a long, long, long winded multi paragraph essay basically talking about where their project's going, and I made a video about that not too long ago. Um, but the main thing they talked about was tires. Um, and how they want to make them be more realistic, give more realistic experience, step the back end out. And I think right now in this game, a lot of people have complained about it, including me, there's just a little bit too much traction. And the tires we have right now have a little bit too much grip. And it's it's not that fun for us like competitive guys or people in the Pro Series because you're seeing a lot of these top guys run unbelievable paces and just not crash at all. Um, which isn't very fun, especially for someone like me that just like kind of wants to ride around consistent. Like, I've been having to up my pace a lot, which has caused me to crash a hell of a lot, which I absolutely hate crashing. So maybe if we get a little bit less grip, it's going to close the skill gap at the top level a little bit. Um, or at least lower the pace, because the pace is pretty damn insane. It's obviously extremely unrealistic. And so I think, it, I think that's... A great idea i think the oem guys are gonna kill it i haven't really tested anything i can't give you guys any insider baseball but um there's an update coming i don't know when it's gonna come um i think there's absolutely no way in hell it doesn't come within the next week but don't take my word for it because i have no confirmation it could come out later today it could come out tomorrow it could come out in two weeks now i it better not come out in two weeks that would piss me off but I think next few days is probably something that you can bet on, and I'm super excited. It's going to change a lot, um, obviously getting some new bikes as well, probably the Triumph and Beta, whatever the hell they've been, uh, whatever the hell they've been cooking up, they've already talked about that stuff, you just got to pay attention, but yeah, as I've ridden here, I mean, listen, it's different, but it's not game changing in my opinion, I don't, I don't think it's insane, crazy, unreal, now I need to go try and Duro and you know, kind of look at hill physics and stuff like that, and I think that's probably where this update's really going to shine, though. I don't think we're going to see as many weird front tucks as we see with, you know, hill climbs and and stuff like that, and maybe this can help when we do lose traction in the tires and we get those new tires. Maybe this makes it a little bit easier to play and not get weird front tucks or weird Poboso physics. So, I just don't really know yet. We need more testing. My first impression, though, it's not a crazy, insane change that's game-changing and, oh, I can't play the game now because of this update. No, you, that's a skill issue, bro. I'm, I'm having zero problem right around this track, and I just got on. So, um, yeah, I think that the main thing here, though, for me, is the OEM update. That's what I'm most excited for. I think a lot of people are hyped for that. But it's good to see that Poboso's still alive, you know what I'm saying? He's still kicking it, all right? He's still walking around this earth, you know, breathing air. So uh, that's that's always cool to see. And um, yeah, I guess, I don't know, I guess yeah, this is Beta 19. This is the beginning, I guess, of that stretch of minor updates are going to happen after this. I, I don't know. I feel like in the last year and a half, we haven't seen a ton happen with MX bikes as far as, you know, on Poboso's end and really since I've come to the game, you know, beta 18 was, beta 18 was a, a decent update, like, there was a decent amount that was done, um, this is obviously way less, but it's something, all right, something's better than nothing, and the OEM guys are just gonna carry us probably through this next year, and, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I kind of just mumbled on, rambled on, said what I think I needed to say, hopefully you guys learn a couple things, um, it's not really a massive update. It's just pretty simple. You know, I think the biggest thing, obviously, is the lean reference point moving from the back to the front wheel. There's definitely a change. I don't really feel too much. Maybe I'm already maybe I'm already used to it. That's how minor it is, though, is that I already am just kind of like, eh. It feels decent. So, yeah, hit that sub with that like button, guys. Thank you guys so much for 85,000 subscribers. 
And um, let's just let's, let's keep growing this game. Let's keep having some fun. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.